Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about multiplying fractions. This video is part of our series na kung saan ang usapan natin ay puro fractions. Yung mga videos natin na nakaraan, meron tayong uh, more about a uh, concept about fractions and last time meron tayong upload a video with regards to addition and subtraction of similar and dissimilar fractions. So ito na yung topic natin, it's all about multiplying fractions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, ano ba yung rules o yung simple rules na meron tayo in multiplying fractions? Tat para sa ito lang naman. Una, multiply the numerators. Second, multiply the denominators. And last, the uh, general rule when it comes to fractions, simplify. You need to simplify your final answer para mas makuha mo yung lowest term ng mismong fraction na magiging product ng dalawang fractions. So, before tayo mag-start ng pag-multiply ng ating 1, 2, 3, 4 examples, I will just uh, give you a quick review. Sir, ano ba yung numerator at ano ba ang denominator? So, let's say for example, I have here the fraction 2 over 5. Sir, which one is the numerator and which one is the denominator? Guys, sa mismong, sa mismong fraction natin, this 2 sa upper part ng fraction natin is your numerator. And yung 5 naman sa lower part ng ating fraction, this is your denominator. So, basically, kung alam mo yung location ng iyong numerator, and denominator, hindi ka mawawala in multiplying fractions. So let's get started. We have here in item number 1, we have the given fraction, 3 over 4, to be multiplied by 12. Yung 12 natin, this is a whole number. Or sir, paano yan? 12 is a whole number. Nasaan yung ating denominator? Actually guys, you can convert or rewrite 12 as a fraction. So copy mo na natin yung 3 over 4. 3 over 4 times 12. So, sir, paano pa natin gagawin siyang fraction? To express your whole number, again, to express your whole number in a fractional form, ang gagawin mo lang is you will put 1 in your denominator. So, meron siya ngayon denominator. So, multiplying this, ang rule natin, multiply your numerator and numerator. So, 3 times 12, that will give you 36. Again, 36 and 4 divide, 4 times 1 that will give you the product of 4 and after multiplying your numerators and denominators ang gabi mo lang ngayon sa product is to check if we can still simplify the fraction 36 over 4 is the same as 36 divided by 4 so the lowest term of this fraction or this product is equal to Nine. This is the final answer for item number one. Now let's move on with item number two. For item number two, we have two times five over eight. The first is a whole number. So same process. If this is a whole number, write it into fraction. So from two, it will become two over one. So you have your numerator at meron ka na rin denominator times your other fraction, you have 5 over 8. Same thing rule, multiply your numerators. So 2 times 5, that is 10, over 1 times 8. 1 times 8, that will give you 8. So right now, we have 10 and 8. Sir, uh, I think we can still simplify that fraction. Yes, you can simplify this one because para sila merong meron sila common, greatest common factor na 2. So you can divide it by 2 and this divided by 2 also. So you can have the answer of 5 over 4. Ngayon, makapansin nyo naman, sir, parang hindi pa rin po siya yung final answer natin. Hindi pa rin po siya yung final answer. You have 5 over 4 or you can write it into a mixed number which is 1 and 1 fourth. 
So, paano po nakuha yung 1 and 1 fourth from 5 over 4? To convert this into a mixed number, yung ating improper fraction, lagi mo na naman is you need to divide 5 by 4. So, 5 divided by 4 is 1, and 1 divided one times 4 is 4. So, lagi mo nito, subtract them, 5 minus 4, that will give you 1. Yung 1 na nandito, your whole number is the quotient, which is 1. Yung 1 dito sa ilalim natin is your remainder, ito yan. At yung denominator na 4 is your original denominator from the improper fraction. So the final answer here is 1 and 1 4. So I hope na sa first two examples para natin, nakuha mo na yung different scenarios na may encounter mo when it comes to multiplying fractions. So let's continue with item number 3. Dito naman, same fraction na tayo. Parehas ng fractions na given natin. You have 4 over 7 times 3 over 5. So you to, what you will do here, same process, three times, uh, 4 times 3 for the numerators, that will give you 12, over 7 times 5, that will give you the answer of 35. So we have here 12 over 35. And for the last process, you need to check if we can sim simplify the product. 12 over 5, is already in simplest form or lowest term. So okay na to bilang finalizer natin. You have 12 over 35. So let's move on with item number 4. Sa item number 4 naman, papakita sa inyo two different process. Again, two different process para magkaroon kayo ng idea. Ano yung mas madaling gawin dito? So for the first process, di ba naman natin, you have to multiply the numerators that will give you 6, kasi 6 times 1, and then for 13 times 6, you have 13 times 6, 6 times 10 is 60, 3 times 6 is 18, so 60 plus 18, that will give you the answer of 78. Ba 78 na siya? Medyo malaki. Tama yung ginawa natin. So ang natin dito ngayon is simplify natin, di ba? Is simplify natin. Pero, para mas madali, mapadali yung ating ginagawa, you need to observe the given fractions, guys. You need to observe the given fractions. As you can see, meron tayong 6 sa numerator at meron naman tayong 6 sa other denominator. Kasi we can still, kapag multiply natin siya, para maging ganito lang siya, 6 times 1 over 6, ah sorry, 13 times 6. So parang nasa isang fraction na lang siya. Ang gusto ko ipakita sa inyo ngayon dito, to shorten the process, kung makikita mo meron kang 6 dito at 6 dito, you can cancel it out because 6 divided by 6 is 1. Okay? So, meron ka na lang yun is 1 over 3. So, pag multiply mo yan, kasi 1 ito, 1, so 1 times 1, that will give you the answer of 6. Ah, sorry, 1. 1 times 1 is 1. And then, 13 times 1, that will give you the answer of 13. So, ang sagot natin ngayon is 1 over 13. So, ganun lang simple guys. Medyo mahihirapan kayo sa una. As long as nag-practice kayo, hindi hindi kayo makawala at makakabisado yung process natin on how to multiply fractions. So, if you're new to my channel, syempre, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye!